Hello my friends! My name is Sammy Cake and welcome to Vlogmas Day! So, all my Vlogmas Days lately have been really long. Hopefully this one won't be as long. I'm going to try and keep the first bit small and short and sweet and stuff like that. But, we got loads of questions, cakes runs for later on, which is amazing. I could not believe how many we got. It was like, we were bombarded with questions. So, I think I got all of them. I might be wrong. Sorry if I am. But, I'm going to answer them later on. But I'm going to keep this first bit small and sweet, hopefully. I might go off on a tangent, like I usually do. But, let's do this. I'm going to show you off some of my toys. Like this is a chain jumper. It's even got a chain on it. And it's, I've still got the label on it as well. I don't like taking the label off because it's like a unique label. Sort of in a weird way. Yeah, it's my chain jumper. So I'm going to show off my toys in this vlogmas day. Enjoy. Do you know who this is? Do you know who this is? I actually forgot where I bought you. It's Squirt from Finding Nemo. It's so cool. It's so cool. Totally, dude. Totally, dude. It's so cool. <laughs> I got Warrior Kirby here, which is sure back hot. But look how cute it is. It's like, yeah, I'm gonna chop your head off. Wah, 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 wah. Yeah. It did have like a little um thing so you can stick it on windows and such, but I kind of chewed it off. Sorry. <laughs> I got nerdy Spongebob. Hi! So cool. I like cuddly toys. I don't know why I like cuddly toys so much. But I got nerdy Spongebob. By the way, I said I was going to wear this hat. Oh yeah. I told you. That's my last one. The last long time I'm wearing all my hats. I got so many hats. I wasn't like under exaggerating when I said I got loads of hats. Because I do have lots of hats. I got a Nemo cushion. I got it for Christmas. My brother bought it me. Nemo. That was Nemo because one of the fins is smaller compared to the other one. Yay! So cool! And I also got an eel cushion, which is for my brother as well. So cool! So cool! So cool! Oh, it was just a head. I got an eel head. There's a cushion. That sounds horrible when you say it like that. I got this little birdie. I actually don't know where it's from, but I got it at Valentine's last year. <laughs> I was so in love with Valentine's. Ah. Forever alone. <laughs> and I got these four, which are Pokemon. So I got Tepig, Oshawa, Snivy, and Pikachu. I went to Tesco's and I saw these. I was like, I want to have them. I couldn't choose which one I wanted, so I bought all four. I mean, it's cool. <laughs> it's cool. For like a 20 year old, I think that's probably 20 then. Buy four cuddly toys. I am awesome like that. I'm awesome. Yeah, I got Pikachu. He's so cool. Snivy for a little smuggy. Smug leaf, as some people used to call it. Shell cold. I shall what? So cold. <laughs> I'm Tepiggy. Yay. I always go for a fire type, so if I play Pokemon. Always for fire types. It's always my starter. And even if, like, in Pokemon X and Y, you can choose one of their first generation starters. I still chose a fire one, despite my other starter was a fire. So I had Charmander and Foxy, Fennekin. I also got a shiny Tepig, because I bred one. And I also bred a shiny Fennekin as well. I love collecting shinies and games like that. Hee <laughs> I always get the shiny starter. I don't know why I do that. I got Tanuki Mario. See, it's so cool. I got a star cushion. It's so soft and cuddly. I got the panda. We saw this before. It's so cool. I bought it when I went to the zoo not long ago. Didn't I? So cool. I got Shayrim in Sky Form. So, I don't know why I bought this. <laughs> I saw it on Amazon and it was just like, oh my god, it's super rare. I have to buy it. So I bought it. Well, it's got a hole in it, which is annoying. And I told the person who I bought it from, oh, it's got a hole in it. But I didn't bother sending it back, because I don't know how you send stuff back. I know you had like post it today, but I didn't want to go through all the trouble, so I just left it. And I got to stay with him in Sky Form. Am I the only one who sometimes called this Pokemon Skyrim instead of Shayrim? 
please say I'm not because I always accidentally call you Skyrim. But it's Shaywim. I got this big bear. It's not a bear, it's a pig. I got this big pig. Look at it. <laughs> and then you can pick its nose out. Look, I picked its nose out so its nose is sticking out. Oh, I'm sorry, darling. I'm sorry. I got a Yoshi. I think I got two Yoshis actually. I think my friend bought me one as well. I can't remember. So I might have two Yoshis. Yeah, I do have two Yoshis actually. It's at my dad's house, you everyone. So yeah. Yoshi! I got a piranha plant. Brah! It's so cool. Look at this piranha blood. Hello! I got like hair everywhere though. It doesn't help. So you might see some like hairs on my camera. And sorry, my hair's molting. I'm a molter. And of course I got the creeper! Look at it, it's all caught. It's just gonna creep on you. And then I got the two links. I found this link now. It was hiding. But I got two links now. And yay! For two links! I also got these things from Pokemon Rainbow. They're a bit dusty actually. I got Mewtwo as well, but I kinda lost it. So that is Kyu. Um, see? Shaywin, but this time it's not in Sky Farm. And Mew! Hello! I got Mew to summer, but I don't know where it's gone at the moment. And last but not least, I got Meowth! Yay! You can probably see it in the background, it's usually up there, hanging on the box. And Pikachu! But this is like first generation Pikachu, so it's really fat. And it's all mucky and old. But I got this ages ago, and it's so cute! Ah, You're so adorable! And also, the other day, I bought this lovely thing. Ooh! I'm not very good with playing on it, though. But I'm going to give you a little tune. You have to guess what it is. I need to remember what, how to do it, though. I'm not good at this. I did it! Can you guess what that was? Probably can, because it's kind of obvious. Is that my old queen here? It's awesome, isn't it? I saw PewDiePie bought one and played on it on one of his videos. I kind of copied him. But one of my friends bought one of these ages ago, and I played on his as well. So, I played on his old Karina. <laughs> Last but not least that I want to show you is this beautiful thing. Beautiful thing! Which is Majora's Mask. I got it. I got the special edition. Ooh. And Phil, he sent me a Skull Kid figurine, which is so nice of him. Thank you so much, Phil. So, I haven't got it yet, but I'll do it in my next vlog and I'll show it off. I'm recording this on the Friday, so I'm recording this super early simply because I have to. I have to record early because I can't record next week. So, Friday it is. I got this yesterday, and already I've defeated the second dungeon. I defeated the second boss. And I got a pony as well, which is awesome. But yeah, I got this mighty nice case with it. Look at it, it's like, oh, so nice. Oh. And I also got this thing with it, which has this beautiful thing in it. So beautiful, we can't even see it because of the shadows. But still, it's really nice, I assure you, it's really nice. And last but not least, it's got a poster, which is, Awesome. It's all shiny poster fair. Like usually posters are shiny, but this one isn't. It's just made up paper. Like proper paper rather than shiny laminated type paper. But um Yay. And it's got down on the other side. The only problem is I wouldn't know which side to use anyway. And also I don't know where to hang it up. I really want to hang it up somewhere, but there's nowhere in my room that has free wall. I don't think. So, I can't hang it up. It kind of went on for a bit too long. I said I wasn't going to, but I did anyway. I'm sorry. But now we're going to go for the case trans and there's so many questions, so enjoy. Mystic Fang asks, um, do you have a PO box? No, I don't have a PO box. It's really expensive to get one. It's like 90 quid. I would love to get one for but 
Also, they don't send it directly to your house. You have to go to the post office to pick it up. And I don't drive. I have to rely on my parents to do it if I did do that. So, I could do that possibly, to be honest. But it's just too expensive to even get a PO Box address in the first place. So, if I ever did get enough money for that, I would do it for sure. I would love to do that. It'd be so amazing. I mean, it'd be like interaction with you lot on a whole new level. So, that would be something I would love to do in the future. But... I can't do it now because it's too expensive. Can you speak in an Australian accent? No. <laughs> I'll try. But all my accents sound the same. I was talking to my friend last night about it and I was trying to ask him to teach me but it didn't go anywhere. How to speak in an Australian accent? So I'm going to use little things to help me because I... You just literally have to say good day mate as I like, end stuff and meet. Good day mate. I think. Is that Australian? I don't know. Aussie. I'm going to speak in an Aussie accent. I, I can't do it. <laughs> irresponsible sounds like irresponsible. So irresponsible. <laughs> and hide sounds like hide. Is that right? I haven't got a clue. <laughs> shoot sounds like shoot. I, no. Shoot. Shoot! Shoot that thing! <laughs> suppose sounds like suppose. I can't do that. Suppose. Sick. Sir. Sir. Uh. Suppose. Is that what? Oh, I really can't do this. I cannot do accents for the life of me. It's something I really want to do, but I can't. Together sounds like. Together. <laughs> Wasn't it an ER cut off? Mate. You alright, mate? You alright, mate? Good day, mate. I'm just gonna say good day, mate, because that's like the best way to do an Australian accent to say good day, mate. I'm not gonna do it anymore. Everyone's gonna say, oh, that's so bad. Blah, 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 blah. I know I can't do accents for the life of me. If you could create and voice your unhappy wheels character, what would it look like if I didn't say? Um, sorry, I completely missed your question before. Ah, but that's a really tough question. Um, it has to be someone I really hate. Oh my god, I got it. I can't voice it really, but I would do Justin Bieber. Then we can kill him repeatedly. How would awesome would that be? Just killing Justin Bieber repeatedly. Ah, oh. and seeing his guts get spoiled out everywhere. I think that'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> oh, it has to be someone I hate. Hmm. Justin Bieber, of course. It has to be Justin Bieber. But yeah, I can't exactly do voice acting. I can just be like, Oh, I'm Justin Bieber. My leg hurts. Oh, I'm Justin Bieber. My arm hurts. Oh, Justin Bieber, you hit me in the balls I do not have. Something like that. <laughs> Got lots of questions. Yay. What is your second favorite video game? When I got this question, when I read it for the first time, I was like, oh my god, I honestly do not know. This is a really hard question. And I was like thinking for ages what it could be. I was thinking, because it's so obvious, my first favourite video game ever is Zelda. End of in Zelda. And my second one was like, what the hell is my second favourite game? And I thought for a while, it could be Assassin's Creed, but I haven't really devoted myself that much to the Assassin's Creed series. I played a little bit of the first one, I haven't played the second one. I uh, played the third, played Brotherhood, played Black Flag, and I played a little bit of Unity and Rogue, but that's about it. And okay, that's pretty much all of them. And Revelations, I played that as well. I love Revelations. But yeah, I haven't played all of them. I own all of them, but I haven't played all of them. But I, I didn't think that would be the right choice. Then I realised, I then I realised I got loads of these games after this game series, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. It has to be Pokemon. I mean, look at all that. <laughs> all the Pokemon games. And I got really, I showed all my Pokemon stuff. So I got all the Pokemon toys, and I've also got Pokemon when bought on the Wii U. And I got Pokemon Stadium and Pokemon Yellow and a Pokemon Game Boy Color. So yeah, it's Pokemon. 
And out of all Pokemon games, it's probably Pokemon Soul Silver. Simply because you have two regions to explore. You got 16 badges to get, and the two regions are really awesome. And the Pokemon follows you as well, and you get the Pocky Walker as well. I used to have so much fun with the Pocky Walker. So probably Soul Silver is my favorite. I got a freaking stitch in my leg, and it's really hurting. <laughs> What is your favourite Pokemon? My favourite Pokemon is Charizard, I think. Just because it's so badass and I love it. And especially when it's a shiny Charizard, it looks amazing. So, Charizard. If you could play a video game with any YouTuber, who would that be? I think everyone knows this if they watch my videos enough and see, well, loads of people find me on a certain channel. So, you have to say who you think it is in 3, 2, 1. Jack Setter Guy. <laughs> So yeah, that would be my YouTuber who I'd love to do a collab with or something. But I don't do collabs. I can't do collabs. I just freeze up and I can't talk to people as it is. So it will be bad if I did do a collab. Will you ever do a series of Gmod? Probably not because I don't like doing collab work. So if I do collabs, then yeah. I have done a few videos on Gmod before with the big noobs. But I just don't feel comfortable. I don't like... I don't open myself up enough so I don't feel like it's my full self I'm not I'm not being it's not natural are you ever going to answer these questions yes I just did what was the last film you watched um I actually don't have a clue I think it was Paddington Bear I think it was that at least that was the last time I went to the cinema to watch Paddington Bear so I'm just going to say that if you're going to write one movie you saw from existence because it was so bad or whatever what one would it be and why? Again, I have no idea. Um, I actually don't know. I'm not really a movie person, so I can't think of anything that I could wipe out from existence. Um, if I was more familiar with movies, then yeah, I might be able to, but movies don't really affect me whatsoever, so I don't know. If you could have one superpower, what would it be? Mine would be able to control time. I would love to be able to control time and just stop time Go into this job, still many. <laughs> Go out and yay! No one will suspect a thing. That's what I would do: is still many and then spend the many. And yay! <laughs> and I'll get suspicious eventually, and I'll just stop time, get out of there, and I'll be free from the world. <laughs> just controlling time in general, just like so I can rewind time, and I think that'd be really awesome. I really do think that'd be awesome. Like in Life is Strange, you can control time, you can like rewind time, and. The way she does it, I think is really good because she can like listen to what people are saying and pretty much copy what they say when she rewinds time and go back and say it, if that makes sense. So, controlling time would be my superpower, for sure. What's the most embarrassing thing that has ever happened to you? I was thinking about this the other day and I actually had a really good response. I completely forgot what it was now. But one of the most embarrassing things that's ever happened to me is when I was in a German class, I was messing around with my hairbrush. I don't know why, but it's like one of those hairbrushes that if you open it up, it's got a mirror in it and there's a hairbrush. So I was messing around with that. And um, I, for some reason, I just completely lost control of holding it. And I was like, ah, like juggling around. And I eventually just dropped it on the floor and I just snorted out loud in the classroom and everyone just turned and looked at me like She just snorted. She's a pig. She's a pig. And I was like, oh my god, I'm so embarrassed right now. And even the teacher mentioned something about it, like, oh why did I have to do that? So that's probably my most embarrassing moment. Snorting out loud in the class. If you could be any Pokemon, what would you be? Um Mew, I think. I think I want to be Mew. But I wouldn't want to be Mew to the extent of everyone wants to caption me, though. I just want to be Mew so you can just, like, seem carefree and just float around everywhere and do whatever the hell you like. That's what I get from Mew. I just think that's what Mew's like. And I would love to be Mew, if anything. So, Mew. If you can have any superpower, which I already answered this. <laughs> but yeah, control and time. I know this wasn't a case trans, but I thought I'd just answer it here anyway. Do you watch any other anime other than One Piece? Lately, I don't even watch anime or read the manga. I want to, but I just don't have a time. But I've watched Kimi Nita Doku, One Piece, Naruto, Bleach, 
uh, Fairy Tail, Death Note, um, Attack on Titan, ugh, Sword Art Online. I've watched loads. I've I'm just trying to think from top of my head, but I have watched a lot of anime and I've caught up on the manga for Naruto as well, so I know the manga ended, so I caught up on that and I try to catch up on One Piece sometimes, but I always fail and I haven't caught up on Bleach in absolutely ages, like three years for something ridiculous. I really do that. Oh, Soul Eater as well. I like that. Um, it's a pretty much all the popular ones I've watched, I think. I don't know. But yeah, I have watched quite a few animes and stuff in my time. What countries would you want to go on holiday? I'm just going to say Florida because I want to go on a roller coaster. I want to go to like Disney World and stuff. That'd be cool in Disneyland. And ah, oh, yes, Florida. I just did that. It makes it nice and quick and simple. <laughs> Which video by Jack Septokai had the best story, morale, and emotion? I was going to say presentable liberty. When I was reading that question, I was thinking presentable liberty. But it was probably that video from Jack because I actually started crying at the end when Jack did that little speech at the end. So either that one, but I also liked his. It wasn't even a, like a gameplay story or anything, but the um. When he returned back to his old home in the cabin and he started like getting really emotional, that was really like heartwarming and I started crying watching that as well. But yeah, so Percent of Liberty for me as well. If you could get any mythical creature as a pet, what would it be? I would love to have a phoenix. Ooh, probably a dragon. I want to fly on its back and it breathe fire. It's kind of like a Charizard in fact, a dragon. That's probably why I want to have a dragon. So yeah, a dragon would be my mythical creature. So I can fly its back, go over the skies on my dangerous dragon, my dangerous creature, and it can burn all my enemies with its fire breathing powers. So yeah, dragon. And that's all the questions! I have been recording for 40 minutes, and this was meant to be a short one. Hopefully I can cut it down by a lot, I hope I can. Um, sorry it went on for too long, again. I need to really talk less. I'm not very good at doing that. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this week's vlog and stay. Um, comment below your cake strands if you really want to, and then I'll answer them next time. But that's it for the video for cake strands, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did give me a like, comment, subscribe. All of it's so great, appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Follow my social media down below, right there. And that's it for the video for cake strands. No, for vlog and stay. For vlog and stay. I messed up. Anyway, and I'll see you next time. I hope you have a cake tastic day. Bye bye! Cook! They got me something soda related, to be honest. Talking with Devil, here's my soda hat. I got this when I went to uh, EGX. Oh, I'm in, in Birmingham. I'm gonna play some Majora's Mask now! Woo! Quick message I might not upload it every day this week because. I need to actually record ahead and on Friday that I'm recording this, I'm pretty much behind and my camera's low on battery as well, which is kind of bad. But um, yeah, I might not upload every day this week, I apologise in advance, or defance if I haven't actually uploaded already. I know I haven't uploaded today, but that's because my computer kept screwing up, you bloody computer! But yeah, I'm sorry about that, um, I try... You ran out of battery.